YouTube, back today in the fish room. I know I haven't really been posting as much lately because I've been kind of enjoying the last few nice days of weather before we start getting all this cold weather here in the Midwest because the past few days have been like 50 degrees. So been trying to get as much in because next thing before you know it's going to be terrible outside. But anyway, in today's video we're going to be adding the fish from my 40 gallon breeder down here and my 92 gallon uh, corner boat right, front. So the fish that we're going to be moving today is these Lion's Cove, I got some Afrikobus, I got uh, some Swedish red top honkies in here, and then that one zebra OB. But I gotta get all these guys out of here, so first things first, I gotta fill this bucket up with water and drain the tank down a little bit. As you can see, my pythons right here. But while we're waiting for this tank to drain, I'm gonna go ahead and talk to you guys for a quick little second about these babies. If you guys watched my last video, you guys would have noticed I had a lot more of these guys but my goofy self, I forgot to put the little latch back on and all these fish jumped out into the tank and got ate. Bruh. So that's all I have left of the lion's cove, sadly, but it is what it is, accidents happen. And all these dragon bloods right here, these guys are getting real nice and big and active. So those guys are all gonna be getting upgraded soon. I might even let these lion's cove off in this 40 gallon after I get all these guys caught out. Just kind of upgrade them here in this video as well. But I'm going to go ahead and get them guys, get this bucket filled and then pick the camera right. right back up. Yeah, perform the old suck -a duck That's what she said. <laughs> and that's how you do that without getting them out full of water. All right. So I'll let this bucket fill up and I'm going to catch you guys here in a few. All right, guys. So I'm probably just going to go ahead and take some of the stuff out of here real fast to make it just a tad bit easier on myself trying to catch these guys out of here. Take that out. This out right here. Run. Got he. <laughs> One eternity later. All right, guys, so that took about forever, but I finally got them all caught out. As you can see, they're up in this bucket right now, but there's also a few babies in here that were just stragglers hanging around the tank. You can see a couple, there's probably like four to six of them. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and get these guys up to the other tank and ready to acclimate. Up this way. Tony! All right. But yeah, look at how, uh, big all these other babies that I have are looking they're barely even babies anymore they're I'd say they're juveniles they're probably like two inches plus now but yeah come along great I need to get these guys upgraded here soon so that's coming up as well BOD juveniles looking good everybody's looking good in the fish room but yeah this is the tank that I got to throw them in so I'm gonna go ahead and get them acclimating and all that good stuff. But I also got these guys right here. I need to upgrade. They just stirred the whole tank around, but yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and get these guys acclimating and pick up the camera here. While them guys acclimated, I went ahead and rescaped this tank or not really scaped it, just kind of threw everything back together to make it look a little more presentable. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and release these Lions Cove in this 40 gallon right here so I can watch some guys grow. I figure I'll go ahead and get that on the camera and uh, the reason why I didn't fill it back up to release them is because they're already, already te temperature acclimated. So I can just throw them right up in this water and everything will be all right. And then I'll just fill the tank up after that. So I'm going to go ahead and get ready to catch these guys up out of here. Hopefully I have no complications with them trying to jump out or anything crazy like that. And that fits perfect just like I wanted. All right, let's see. One second, switching hands. Try to get you guys a better view up in here. All right, all right, come on guys. Ooh, ooh, it's not working like I wanted to. All right, I got one, I got one. You right. suck. Look at that guy, this little fella. It's kind of sad that the rest of them all got ate up in this tank, but 
they shouldn't have any problems now, especially with the other few little ones. Hopefully they show them the way of the tank. So looking forward to that. But I'm gonna go ahead and try to get some more of these guys up out of here. Let's see. It's so hard to do one-handed. Plus there's just not a whole lot of room to work with, so. Trying to scare him back up in the net. Ooh, ooh. Hopefully I didn't just hurt that one. Oh, I think I did too. Oh my uh -oh. god! Poor guy, he got pinched up. But you see the rest of them are all okay. Hopefully that one just got hit in the shock or something maybe. Hopefully he'll be fine, but it just went all bad. All right, I'm gonna try to get these guys out of here now. Hopefully it'll be a little bit easier. Go that one in. All right, let's see. And I guess if I get one of these peacocks, it ain't gonna hurt nothing. But yep, I got the rest of them now, so I think there might be like one left in there. These guys are gonna have a blast in this tank. Can't even see them from a distance. There's a few right there. There's one dragon blood got in there. Let's see. So far I see at least one. This guy right here. Let's see if I can get him solo dodo. Yep. Alrighty. I'm gonna go ahead and get this tank filled back up. Sorry, I know it's kind of a slow video, but everything's not working out how it should be. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and get this tank filled back up. And I'll give you guys a quick update before I end this video out. But first things first, I'm going to go over there and release them. Alright guys. guys, so I'm getting ready to release these guys into their new aquarium. But I want to go ahead and count these guys. So I want you guys to drop in, down in the comments below and let me know how many I've released in this new aquarium. So I'm going to try to get one or two at a time, no more. Oh, oh, oh. I got a lot. That was a lot. That was a lot. All right, there's two, three, three. Release these guys into their new aquarium. Oh shit, I need to feed these guys first. Go ahead and get ready to feed these guys real fast, even though I already dropped a couple in. Hopefully it won't make too big of a difference, but you should always feed your fish before adding new fish, which I know that obviously I just forgot. <laughs> But anyways, so I've already added in three. Now let's see how many more I can go ahead and get. Uh, what is that? One, two, three, four, five. Five more. He's already got a piece of food in his mouth. That or it's eggs. Maybe it's eggs. It is eggs. That's one of the females that had all the babies in her mouth. So, all right, let's go ahead and get the rest of these guys in there. All right, there's four in here. Five, three, four, you guys keeping up with me? There's also uh, one of them Afrikobus we're holding. So I don't know if I released them in yet totally forgot to be honest with you guys which sucks because I was gonna strip them but there's two more right here let's see there's three more right here I definitely lost count already guys so and they must have been fighting in the bucket. Typical, these Zambunas are always so mean. There's two more. My Swedish Red Top Hongi. Two of them. Oh, that ain't good. Hopefully he just is maybe shock real fast and snap out of it. 
Pretty sure this is the last one. Yep. Yep, that guy's already off the ground right there looking better. So hopefully that was just a in the moment thing and he'll be fine. But yeah, it doesn't look too bad in here. Obviously the water's all shaken up from everything from the bucket, but these guys are gonna have some learning to do on what territory is whose and everybody's got to get acquainted with each other but i added however many you guys got to drop down in the comments below but i added however many you're supposed to add six or more i think i got it but and these guys just ate a bunch of eggs i don't know which one just released them probably this girl right there but yeah that's it out of there oh yeah i'll talk to you guys a little bit about everything else in the fish room so this 125 is looking really good I haven't had any anything really too crazy in here besides they did kill my albino bicher which is super sad to me because i love that fish but i don't know what happened they i came down one day and he was just all bit up so i'm guessing they must have switched on him and killed him but yeah i got these bod's i'll probably be putting in there 75 gallon here soon i also did some more decorating in here i got this uh t-rex head on my last vacation it's absolutely awesome. It's hanging up, hanging off the wall. Got some new tiki's and some more stuff all hanging up. But yeah, I also got uh, this guy down here still. I'm debating on adding him into the 125 again where he came from, but he was getting picked on really bad, so that's why he's also solo dolo. And then I also have this uh, OB fryer right down here. You see him right there. I don't know where, where I'm going to put him or if I might just leave him here and eventually find some females for him, hopefully. But yeah, I got that to figure out. And I'm also going to have the little 10 gallon stand right there. I don't know if you guys can see it. Ooh, right there. A little stack 10 gallon stand. As you can see, everything's kind of a mess. I've been super busy lately. So also another reason I haven't been posting as many videos, but I'm going to still get these videos dropped and updates coming so but yeah i'm gonna let this tank clear up a little bit and also got the light wet so it acts up whenever it gets wet so i'm gonna go ahead and turn that on whenever the light dries and the water clears up a little bit then i also have the 125 i didn't do show this tank yet today but this tank's doing really well as also as well so everything's doing good in the fish room so i'm gonna go ahead and pick the camera back up here in a little while whenever this tank clears up and the lights dry so i can show you everybody in the tank and how they're doing all right guys so it's about a couple hours later and everything's kind of getting settled in besides i did just turn on the lights so they're a little skittish again but as you can see they're all over every little nick and cranny of this aquarium has little fry in here to grow out but i also got the other fish in the other tank i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how they're doing they seem to be settling real nice Oh yeah, this tank got rescaped as well. As you can see, pretty awesome, pretty awesome. But all right, working my way down here. I'm gonna go ahead and see if these guys are gonna eat too for me while I'm over here. And as you can see, this tank looks like it's filled out real nice since I put them guys in. So I'm gonna go ahead and feed them real fast. And it looks like everybody in there is eating. Besides the one orange guy in the middle. Which I don't know if that's the one that I just put in or the one that's been in here. So, but yeah, everybody seems to be doing really well. <laughs> you can see all the lions go coming out to eat. The Afrikobu. Can't wait till this guy to mature to really show his true potential. But yeah, stay tuned guys. I'm also gonna be upgrading these guys here in the near future. We'll go ahead and feed these guys real quick for on camera for you. And I don't know, I can't tell yet. It's too soon to tell if they're hybrids or not, but I don't know. I guess we'll find out eventually. 
but the one that's coloring up right now is looking really promising looks really cool so i guess time will tell but all right guys that's probably it for today's video if you guys made it this far in the video i appreciate it and i hope to see, that you guys stay tuned to the channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button get drop a comment down below and give the video a thumbs up if you guys like this content i'll see you guys in the next one peace